Hello Taurus, welcome to your mini tarot reading. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for daily energy. This will be a general message, so it will not resonate with everybody out there. Feel free to check your other planetary placements. If you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, you can find that information in the detail box down below. Okay, Taurus, without any further ado, let's jump right into your reading. We're going to take a look at your heart space. Now, this next message can come through as past, present, future energy, or past person, current person, future person. It'll cover the gambit of everybody who is either looking for reconciliation, trying to get over an ex, in current relationships, current partnerships, or searching for a new love. All right, without any further ado, Spirit Team, let's take a look at Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their heart space. Okay, they gave us three right off the bat. So, we get for past energy, we're getting epiphany, realizations, understandings, awakening. I feel like this is you are understanding suddenly what has happened here. It's like that realization, it's all coming together. It's like, boom, all of a sudden, everything makes sense. You may be awakening um, to this partnership, understanding it in a new light, new difference. Okay, current, current energy, we're getting withdrawn, lonesome, single. Now, this does not mean this is, you know, you, current. Current can also be current partner. I feel like if this is the case for some of you, this is just right now, your guys are kind of at your separate corners, feeling um, abandoned, alone, so like you're in solitary confinement. Like, I feel like the energy is that this person may not be energetically connecting to you or you to them at the moment, kind of just like in your separate corners, time out. All right, and future energy coming through. We got, okay, sorry. I'm going to back that up. That may be true for some of you, but I'm getting the sense that for the current connection, we're getting established family triumph security. This is a marriage, like a long-term commitment and engagement. Somebody who's been in partnership for quite some time that has established pattern, has established, because some of you may actually have children together. Um, and the future energy, future partnership, I feel like you guys are single, alone, withdrawn. This can go back and forth. If this was working the other way where you're withdrawn or your person's withdrawn in this relationship and you feel like you're in a solitary confinement, take it as it resonates for you. Um, for some of you, this is definitely having to do with a marriage with vows, commitment, promise, and fidelity right there. So now let's take a look at your person or persons that you're most connected to or will be past, present, future energy. For the person Taurus is most connected to in the heart space or will be connected to as a heart space. Please show me clearly, precisely. All right, past energy, confusion, puzzled, unsettled, clear. So they're not really sure what happened here, but you're starting to understand it. I kind of like that. All right, current energy, please. Current connection, current person, partner, spouse. Yeah. <laughs> So I feel like you're, you're, there's honesty, intention, truth with this person. They're trying to gain some type of clarity, understanding here between you. And if you are single, future partner that you're looking for, they are sidetracked at the moment. They're dealing with some changes, some distractions, delays. This could have to be doing with work. And some of my tourists out there, you're in an upheaval you're emotionally going through it, troubled, the unexpected shock. You're really kind of, kind of that tower energy. Things are topsy-turvy for you at the moment. All right, let's take a look at Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus for September 15th, 2020. Spirit Team, what is the current situation? Energies, messages that the Taurus Collective most needs to hear for September 15th. Please show me clearly, precisely. Make it with accuracy and clarity. Thank you, spirit team, guys, and angels. All right. So what is going on with my beautiful Taurus? What is going on with my beautiful Taurus at this time? What messages need to come through? Okay, we're getting the Ace of Cups. Do you understand this can come through as one long message or this can come through as separate messages? Take it as it resonates. If it doesn't, leave it for somebody else. All right, what else can you tell me about Taurus at this time? What is going on with my Taurus? Please show me clearly and precisely. Some of you have a renewal, a possibility, opening up, an opportunity, and love. This could be self-love, self-fulfillment, self-worth. I see a new opportunity being granted. 
Yeah. But it's going to require releasing something from your past, understanding it to move forward, taking a leap of faith for some of you, even though it feels kind of uncharted territory, unknown, scary a little bit for some of you. It's time to take that leap of faith in a new direction. Um, I feel like some of you have been dealing with somebody or was dealing with an energy where somebody was kind of like out for themselves with a lot of regret, sadness, deception here. Um, if this is energy that you're holding on to, it's time to release it, move forward, because the happiness is waiting for you, that joy, that bliss, that um, spontaneity, that just that really happy sun, place in the sun, that joy. Um, this is pure happiness. This is somebody who is narcissistic. This is somebody who needed to make a dis you know, was making decisions based off of what they needed, not considering anybody else. In the situation, if you've been involved with somebody, whether it is family, friends, romantic relationship, you're being guided, you're being guided to leave that behind. There's a lot of sadness, regret, and grief wrapped up in the situation. And the happiness is waiting for you, but it's time to walk away from it. It's time to really you know, communicate or see what has been hidden, what has been keeping you stuck here. It's time to bring make a final decision. The, you know, to bring yourself into balance because you will come through this, vic this situation victories and on the other side of it is an offer of love and I feel like this is, yeah, it's like I told you, this is not always going to come through in order either. So it's kind of releasing this past, this deceptive past, this narcissist, this person who is very selfish, self-centered, self-focused, or there's been regrets and sadness and lots of grief. I definitely feel like a lot of emotions coming through this card right now. It's time to walk away from that because it's time to final judgment, release, understand it, bring clarity, and then release it so you can move forward for something new, some offer of love that's going to come in. It's going to be a very divine blessing. Um, do I know for some of you, this could be headed toward taking a leap of faith, reconciling with somebody in love. After walking away from something or someone that was very mm, harsh energy is what I'm getting with that. All right. So let's take a look at Romance Angels. What is coming through for my Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 15th, 2020. What is the most important messages, guidance, advice that my Taurus needs to hear in, a, in and around love and romantic relationships? What is going on? All right, so it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And there it is. There it is being offered from the highest power, the highest source. All right, what else can we tell Taurus at this time in regards to love and romantic relationships? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, at least the negativity. Cast it out, cast it aside. Whether you're in current partnership or not, yeah, it's time to take a leap of faith, heal family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This also could be healing childhood wounds, but I feel like this is, for some of you that are in established connection, this is healing the family. It's letting friends or associates or maybe reaching out for outside help to help you do this, take a leap of faith with this person. All right, what is this? What else do we have here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Yeah, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like there's one more in here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 15th, 2020. Thank you. Yeah, this... This person that you've been dealing with, this whatever the situation here, there's been deception, whether you were fooling yourself or they were fooling you. There has definitely been deception in this situation, and it's time to realize that and, and leave it behind, walk away from it. Return to that playfulness, that joy, that spontaneity, laughter, good times. That's how you're going to recapture the romance in your relationships. It's how you're going to recapture your, your own youthful spirit. That's going to bring love in. All right, let's take a look at the moonology for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One of the most important messages, guidance, advice coming through for Taurus at this time, September 15th, 2020. I hope that is too many. Spirit team, please. 
give me clarity and accuracy throughout this okay getting be bold make the first move some of you you're going to have to be the go-getter you're going to have to take charge and go after what you truly want others of you you're getting do not let your past hold you back this is a favorite card from spirit they're saying over and over again there we have all completed a cycle recently it's done there is nothing in your past tear off that rear of your mirror not really just hypothetically and do not look back any longer if an ex or a person or a situation or you know a loved one a you know anyone anything that's meant to be in your future you will not find it by looking backwards you will need to keep moving forward if they are meant to be there you will find them on that path forward. Do not let past situations, past persons, past energies hold you back from achieving your destiny, your goals, your dreams, and your aspirations by achieving who you truly are. Taurus. All right, what else do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? For September 15th, 2020, please. What else? What messages, guidance, advice do we have for Taurus at this time? They show me clearly, precisely, accurately. What do we have for Taurus, please? All right. Do we have any other messages? Yeah, we do. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Some of you may be dealing with a Cancer. I feel like, yep, there it is. I knew we had one more. And communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Bottom of the deck, believe in the impossible because anything's possible with the universe and divine at work. All right, so let's take a look at the Aries Oracle. What messages, guidance, advice is coming through for Taurus for September 15th, 2020? Please, Spirit Team, show me clearly and precisely what messages we have. First one through temptation. Are you? In denial about an unhealthy habit, perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever its guise. That's that devil energy, Capricorn energy. And to have hope. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. All right, what else do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Place, guidance, messages, and most need to be heard for Taurus Collective, and light. The queen, the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. And bottom of the deck, we have hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. So I feel like this is, has to do with this difficult emotional situation. Um, I feel like, you know, you know, within the depths of despair, the angels, the divine, the universe will bring light into your life. Light can penetrate the darkness and you can reveal what is hidden and needs to be revealed. Where The wounds from which you bleed. Um, I believe that is the biggest message coming through for my Taurus at this time. All right, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you like this spread so I can make it a part of my daily routine. If you have not yet done so, please do hit that like, share, subscribe. We'd love to have you as a Cancerian soul family member. And remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now.